Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Today's video is a state of affairs of tools and equipment that have gone the cordless route, so the battery-powered alternatives to the corded versions of what we use for detailing vehicles. So behind me, I have a bunch of machine polishers, an air blower, a trigger sprayer, and also a foaming pump sprayer. And I'll be giving you my thoughts on where we're at. Are these worth purchasing? Uh, is it worth it for you guys to replace your corded counterparts for these cordless versions as well. So we're going to find out. Uh, and yeah, the, there's been a lot of advancements in technology, uh, especially the battery powered ion lithium stuff in the past few years. So the batteries last for longer, allowing you to do the work, uh, of course, for a longer time. Uh, they also charge a lot quicker. Uh, quick disclaimer, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. Uh, and all these uh, tools and equipment uh, that I'm talking about today, I'll be linking those in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So let's immediately start off with a few of the machine polishers. So of course, as you guys know, when you're doing paint correction, well, technically you need a machine polisher, uh, regardless if you're using rotary, uh, dual action, or for forced rotation, or direct drive. You need a machine to, of course, correct, level the paint, remove all the defects, increase the gloss, the clarity, right? Remove swirls, scratches, uh, oxidation, so on and so forth. So we've been used to corded versions for a long while, but of course, having the cords is kind of a hassle. You often need uh, extension cords if you have different versions and models that you need, because we're uh, using some with uh, one inch heads, uh, three inch backing plates, five inch backing plates, sometimes six. You have different machines. And well, especially if you're a professional out there and working in a shop or environment where you have many tools while well, having all that cord and clutter to manage uh, can be quite tedious. So there's been a lot of cordless polishers in the past few years, uh, many of which I've tested and uh, many of which I have in my own detailing arsenal today and they're quite practical. Now do they fully replace their corded versions? Uh, well in a nutshell, for me, if you're a professional detailer that does a lot of machine polishing, right? So we're talking eight, 10, 12 plus hours sometimes in a given day, and you're, do and you're doing that day in or day out, uh, your corded polishers will still be the way to go, in my opinion, at least for now, because uh, they have, well, mo the majority of them have more power in theory, uh, and also they'll last for longer because you don't have to worry about replacing or recharging the batteries. That being said though, for probably 90% of people out there, uh, including maybe some professionals that do um, polishing work every now and then, maybe once or twice a week, or not necessarily for super long uh, amount of hours, or if you're a DIYer or a weekend warrior, the uh, battery technology has uh, progressed so much now that they're quite worth looking into. And for me, at least, I find that the practical side or the practicality supersedes the fact that you'll maybe have a little better runtime with the, uh, the corded versions. So let's start off with a few uh, different models that I've been testing, uh, some more recently because I just got into them and some for over a year at this point. Uh, so quite interesting. So one of the companies that I really like for machine polishing, uh, for polishers in general, there's two of them, right? So there's Rupes or Rupes uh, or Rupes, however you want to say it, the Italian company. And then there's the German brand Flex. So those two for me are probably at the top of the pack for machine polishing as far as build quality, uh, the balance of the machines and just the technology that they use inside. And one of them, so the, this one here is the Flex PXE80. So this one here comes with a three inch head or a three inch backing plate. And as you can tell, it is super compact. It comes with this 2.5 amp hour lithium ion battery. This is a 12 volt, so it is fairly lightweight super easy to operate. But the cool thing about this one, the head itself, it comes with a quick disconnect type locking mechanism and you can add other accessories. So you just plug that in. So this one here now, we have a one inch backing plate for some more intricate spots. There's also something new that I discovered at uh, the SEMA show at the Flex booth. And it's there, I think it's called the FS140. So it's a flexible extension shaft that you're going to be able to use with the PXE80 mini polisher. And basically what that is, like the name states, it's going to be a flexible shaft with at the end uh, different attachments for you to go behind the door handles or super intricate areas. If you have honeycomb grills and you need to polish uh, in those holes, you're going to be able to do that with that. So I think it's pretty cool. So very easy to uh, change mechanisms. And uh, this one here has decent battery life. Like if you're uh, using it under load, you'll probably get around 20 minutes of use out of this. So uh, usually smaller polishers you're going to use for things like uh, B pillars, A pillars, uh, for 
for some bumpers, some mirrors, grills, um, and uh, edge work, that kind of stuff. More on edge work, by the way, with a new machine from Rupes in a few seconds. But so this is a very cool one and it works quite well. Uh, probably one of the ones that started everything in the um, uh, cordless polisher technology is this one here. So this is the Rupes Bigfoot Nano Hybrid. So hybrid technology means that it basically comes with their lithium ion batteries and uh, this one here. So if I detach, this is the small battery. You can have a look at that. You can get it either as a tool on its own or in a kit with a bunch of different pads, different attachments. You can get a one inch head, a two inch head. You can get it in um, rotary mode. You can get it in dual action too. You can do some sanding as well. Uh, this one here is the long neck version. So as you can tell, has a longer neck. This is my preferred one. They have a short neck version as well. Uh, it kind of looks like a toothbrush, but it operates super well. It has this trigger here that you depress to operate it, it has different speed settings as well. So this one here, you'd use again for very uh, intricate areas. So some delicate curves, delicate edges, uh, some intricate spots on bumpers, uh, things like that. These smaller guys, by the way, like this one here, you can use for polishing headlights as well. So there's a bunch of different uses that you can have. And in your detailing arsenal, by the way, uh, for those of you who ask like, which one is the best polisher? You can't just have one polisher. Uh, Cause if you have the typical uh, polishers with five inch or six inch backing plates, well, obviously in curves don't work as well. Uh, they'll not work as well for pillars or mirrors or intricate parts of bumpers, that kind of stuff. So you need different sized polishers for different tasks, right? So a mini polisher uh, and then a midsize, uh, something like an LHR 75E mini if you go corded, or you're going to see something like this um, new HLR uh, 75 with hybrid technology, so a cordless version from uh, Rupes. Uh, but yeah, you just need a bunch of different ones in your arsenal. So of course, it always depends on your budget and uh, what your needs are. But look into them because battery technology, once again, this is amazing. Uh, I can't get enough of this one, by the way, for intricate areas, even inside the vehicle. So if you have that piano black material that often scratches, it seems like you're just breathing on the material and there are some scratches or swirls that can happen. Uh, well, this is perfect for that. So you take around the rest of the materials around it and then you can start polishing that piano black trim inside the vehicle. As I said, there was a, a uh, another one that was released recently. I saw this one uh, for the first time in person uh, with Jason Rose, one of their product development managers and their training global director over at Rupes. Uh, and this is their HLR 75 Mini in the Bigfoot range. So this is a dual action 12 millimeter orbit uh, and the uh, battery tech on this once again is amazing. So this is, look, look at how small these batteries are now. For use, this is actually um, one of the times where you're getting more torque and power compared to the corded version. So with this one, this replaces or at least supersedes in my opinion, uh, their current um, LHR 75E Mini with the three inch backing plate. So this one here is a battery powered version. The uh, balance is amazing. It produces less sound as well compared to the corded version. You're gonna get more power, more torque, has a bunch of speed settings. You'd use speeds uh, like two, one or two for sanding if memory serves me well and three or four for uh, polishing, which is mainly what we're going to use it for. The runtime is fantastic with this. The uh, charging is also amazing on the battery. So the batteries last longer than how long it takes you to charge the battery. So uh, if you have two batteries that comes with the kit, you're good enough to, to polish all the time. So again, uh, B pillars, A pillars, any pillars on your vehicle, mirrors, intricate areas. Uh, this is mainly designed as well for uh, polishing edge work or edge work polishing, should I say, uh, and also some spot correction. So you can use this one-handed, two-handed, uh, palm down, regardless how you want the ergonomics are amazing. And again, battery technology is pretty awesome, so it should last all day. I was shocked by this one. So I was with uh, my buddy Matt Mormon from Obsessed Garage. You guys probably know him. He has a detailing channel and also a, a detailing supplies website called Obsessed Garage. So I was over at his uh, destination Obsessed Garage house in Helen, Georgia uh, in the month of October, and uh, he introduced me to the uh, Milwaukee polisher. So I, I, I am new to Milwaukee uh, tools in general, so I purchased a, a uh, impact driver, a cordless drill, a bunch of stuff from their tools, but I did not know that they had a machine polisher. So he told me, Pan, you got to try this. So I only had a few minutes uh, with it while we were there because we were doing some uh, detailing on a uh, on the subscriber's vehicle. By the way, if you haven't seen that video of a BMW M3, an E90 version uh, being fully uh, paint corrected, 
painted the wheels off detail, uh, ceramic coating, the whole nine yards. Check it out. It was pretty awesome. It's on my channel, of course. So he said the uh, Milwaukee M18 Fuel Dual Action Polisher. This one here is a 50 millimeter. They also make a 21 mil. Uh, is pretty, pretty sick. And I have to say, uh, so when I came back, I obviously purchased this and uh, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I am shocked that a company that does power tools in general uh, and that has, hasn't has really had any um, introduction to the car detailing world, at least to my knowledge, uh, up to the point where they released these tools here, uh, I'm amazed. So the power that you're getting out of this for the majority of people is more than enough. It is easily comparable to the best corded versions. So you're getting tons of torque. Uh, it has speed settings here. So these are in RPMs. When I polish, typically I'll be uh, around 4,400 RPMs. Uh, it goes all the way up if we look at the top to 5100 rpms but uh, you'd never use a polisher at full blast not on paint it's not necessary uh, perhaps on glass you can go a bit harder uh, but for uh, compound and polish I, I find that speed setting is perfectly fine uh, it comes with a five inch backing plate for the 15 mil and the 21 millimeter throw has a six inch backing plate perforated backing plate so good for um, aerating all that keeping it cool uh, the battery tech so this is what impressed me the most uh, Mike Figueira so the uh, handyman over at Obsess Garage with uh, 30 plus years of um, construction experience in different trades had said you're going to like the Milwaukee range especially for their battery so they're readily available they're easily serviceable as well I mean there's Milwaukee shops pretty much everywhere in um, the US USA and Canada and of course you can go to your local Home Depot or your hardware local hardware store and if anything happens you can just pick up some extra batteries but I mean you get the kit by the way it comes with two batteries and the rapid charger uh, the rapid charger can recharge this one here their higher output that came with the kit the XC 6.0 battery so this one here is good for a runtime of roughly if you're putting it under a load so when you're doing actual polishing and work and putting a bit of pressure on the machine you'll probably get a half hour out of this uh, the rapid charger that comes in the kit takes about an hour or so to, to recharge the battery uh, but if you get what I did is I purchased the supercharger so the supercharger is good for m12 and m18 batteries and that charges that in roughly 30 to 35 minutes so basically the runtime you're getting out of the battery if you have the supercharger you can and recharge your battery as well get two batteries uh, it's cool it has this indicator here up front with uh, four bars there for the lights and it just works super well it'll run all day if you uh, cycle through the batteries and with a supercharger recharge them super quickly uh, it gives a little more vibration compared to the flex which i'll be talking about in a few seconds uh, but overall for their first foray into um into the polishing world with this one. I mean, build quality is very good, like all Milwaukee tools. Um, they have these grills here to help keep the, um, probably the engine inside there or the motors uh, running cool inside there. So it's just a random or orbital polisher, has a 15 millimeter throw, and they did a good job. I mean, overall, they got the ergonomics pretty well. It's uh, slimmer compared to some other polishers, so the body is quite slim. However, it is heavier compared to the flex and it is heavier compared to corded polishers as well so just keep that in mind i think this one with the battery if memory serves me well is close to eight pounds so just shy of eight pounds or a little over 3.5 kilos uh, so it's not very lightweight but i mean it's not the end of the world because it's well balanced uh, you can hold it by the battery by the way and depending on which grip you want to use when you're uh, when you're actually using this on the machine it works quite well so i'm looking forward to testing this but i'm happy to report that machine polishers in the cordless form now uh, have gone to a level where it's actually worth it so regardless if you're getting the flex uh, the rupes or the milwaukee's you will be very satisfied let me know by the way if you want to see a comparison uh, between the milwaukee and the next one which is the flex xfe 15 so this is their dual action uh, random orbit polish machine that is cordless again so let me know a uh, drop a comment in the comment section if you want to see a comparison uh, or also if you want to see um, me test any other cordless polishers from other brands because i know a lot of them make now right uh, you have milwaukee i think that makes one uh, dewalt i know makes a cordless one uh, spta there's a bunch of different brands that make cordless versions as well so if you're interested let me know maybe i'll have a shootout of the uh, the best ones but i think from my uh, research and you guys know i love to do research and discussing with a bunch of people uh, that i trust the uh, milwaukee uh, the rupes cordless and the flex cordless are some of the best right now so flex german brand this one here the xfe 15 
150. This is their dual action polisher, uh, five inch backing plate. Um, and again, the technology on this one, so 18 volt, just like the Milwaukee, but this one is a five amp hour battery compared to the Milwaukee's six amp hour. However, this one here uh, under full load will last a little longer. So whereas I'll see about half an hour of runtime under load with the Milwaukee, with the Flex, it might go up to 35, 40 minutes stretching it. Of course, this is when you're polishing and you're doing a lot of polishing nonstop. But if you're doing some light polishing, maybe lighter, edge work or whatever you're going to do with your your machines the obviously the lighter loads you have the longer the batteries will last uh, but under normal use 35 to 40 minutes um, the battery however with this charger takes a bit longer so anywhere from 45 to 50 minutes on the charger so it takes a little longer however you get two batteries in the kit and uh, you can cycle through them no worries and uh, yeah it just works well so this one is shorter compared to the milwaukee so if i show you them side by side you see how taller the milwaukee is so this one here is lighter compared to the Milwaukee as well. You don't get as much as the vibration through the body as you'll get with the Milwaukee. Not that it's a huge issue with this one, uh, unless again, you're polishing for 10, 12 hours every day, then you might want to get a tool that's a bit better balance or less vibration through the body. Uh, build quality for me, both are on par, to be honest. They're super well made. And uh, yeah, battery tech, once again, amazing. Now this is a dual action random orbital, but Flex also makes a direct drive or gear driven polisher. And this one here is their XCE18 model. So this one too in cordless form. Let me show you this, there you go. So this one here, because it's direct drive, it's never going to stall. So if that's important for you, uh, majority of dual action polishers, it is normal by the way, that's how they're made. If you apply too much pressure, the pad is gonna stall, is gonna stop spinning. That's why you usually see guys put some marks on the backing plate so they can make sure the pad keeps its rotation going, right? But with forced action or um, forced rotation or gear driven, polishers like the XCE18 from Flex, you're never gonna get that. Uh, Rupez has a corded um, direct drive called the Miele, if you wanna look into that, but they haven't made, at least not to my knowledge, a cordless version yet. So this one here, I think, is the first direct drive uh, polisher that's out there that's cordless. So this one too, same battery technology, you can get it in a kit uh, with two batteries and the charger, and it just works super well. So if that's uh, what you guys want, know that they have both options. We move on to a leaf blower that we like to use in the detailing world uh, as a car dryer. So as you guys know, if you love this channel or if you watch car detailing channels in general, your vehicle is obviously protected with at least something like a wax, a paint sealant, a ceramic coating, or a graphene coating. Basically paint protection that will give you hydrophobic properties, made the paint slick, protected against UV rays, the chemical resistance, uh, and so on and so forth. So the cool thing when you have protection on your paintwork, it makes um, cleaning the vehicle much easier because dirt and grime and bugs and all that kind of stuff have less of a tendency to stick to the paint. So it makes it easier to clean during your maintenance washes, but also thanks to the hydrophobic properties, so that water beating and water sheeting, it makes drying the vehicle a lot quicker when you're using blown air. So you can have the corded uh, car dryers, and I'm lucky I have two of the best ones on the market in my opinion. So my classic that I look on my wall right now, the uh, Master Blaster Revolution from Metrovac, uh, an American company. And then we have a company from Australia, which is Big Boy. So I have the Big Boy Blower R Pro. So they're a top of the line unit as well. Both are corded. And yes, for raw performance, Corded versions will have more um, more air output, right? If I look at the Master Blaster, that one has dual force hor four horsepower motors for a total of eight horsepower peak. And I mean, that thing just rips, right? However, for practicality, I find myself using the cordless air blowers a lot more. So just your leaf blower, I like this Ego. This is the one of their newest models, the 650. I know there's a newer one yet after I purchased this one, the 765 that's out now, I think. Uh, but this one is already overkill. For those who ask, I had the 580 CFM prior to this one, and even that one was way more power than you'll ever need. Uh, the important thing is to either buy it with the five amp hour battery, because this allows me to, to uh, dry an entire vehicle, uh, regardless if it's my Porsche or a customer's car or my girlfriend's Nissan Rogue, for example, uh, your um, uh, compact SUV or even a mid-size vehicle. I had a BMW M550i before uh, and I was able to uh, dry with one battery and I get the uh, upgraded supercharger as well for my Ego batteries, so they charge very quickly. I have two of these, so the uh, five amp hour batteries. Uh, the tool is actually light. The other cool thing 
that I made. I was one of the first ones to pre-order this from Obsessed Garage. This is basically the Apex Air stubby nozzle. So look at how short this is because when you buy an Eagle blower, it comes with this super long nozzle in the front and you can accidentally hit uh, your vehicle with it and that's never a good thing. So this one here keeps the machine lighter. It keeps everything more compact. I mean, look at this, This isn't this gorgeous? And in the front here, I added a uh, blower band. So this one here protects basically the nozzle. So it's this rubber band. So if you ever accidentally uh, hit the, the vehicle, you won't leave any scratches on it. So it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be some added protection. So more than enough power, you can dry your entire vehicle in a matter of minutes, uh, instead of wasting your time doing it with a microfiber drying towel, although those work super well uh, as well. So if you have the budget though, I think you're going to enjoy using this. If you guys use another leaf blower that uh, you really, really like for car detailing, let me know, maybe I'll have a shootout of a few of the best leaf blowers that we can use for uh, drying vehicles. I think that would be pretty cool. But I know that Ego is usually one of the ones that is preferred from uh, car detailers out there. So next we move to sprayers, believe it or not. So trigger sprayers, if you're doing this all the time, especially if you're a professional out there, uh, imagine doing that for five, 10, 15, 25 plus years, it adds up. Some can have um, carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, you can have uh, arthritis that develops later on, who knows? Anything that can prevent uh, mechanical movement or repetition is always a good thing. And well, they're starting to have some pretty good options in the battery powered trigger sprayers now. So this one here is from Solo. Uh, Solo, if memory serves me well, is a German brand. Um, and they were more in the industry of having uh, things for the, um, for the home market or the garden. However, uh, you can use a lot of their stuff uh, for the detailing world and this is one of them. So imagine filling this up with your rinseless wash solution or with a glass cleaner, whatever you guys, or even a quick detail spray, uh, whatever you guys use a lot and often, this is good because all you do is depress the trigger. This by the way is called the Solo 460 Li. So there's this cool little button in the front and you can hear the uh, the motor. This can squirt like all the way uh, down the garage if I want. And you can adjust, of course, the pattern. So how wide or how narrow the uh, the jet is. And it just works super well. The battery seems to last forever. Has this little adapter in the back, by the way, that you connect uh, to your uh, USB. Though, So that's how you recharge it. And uh, yeah, they, they just work. I find that the ergonomics are great. This has a liter capacity in the tank. Uh, and by the way, I reviewed this, the uh, Solo, and and the SPTA foamer pump sprayer. So you can check that out, both battery powered. I have a dedicated video in which I spoke uh, about these two. You're gonna see them in action as well if you wanna see what kind of performance you're getting out of them. Uh, but this one for a trigger sprayer, again, works very, very well. And I just think it's neat. These are the first versions, by the way, that these brands are coming out, to my knowledge at least, for battery powered stuff. So imagine what versions two, three, and four will be like in the future, especially with viewers giving their feedback uh, as well on what works well or not for the car detailing scene. The next one is the SPTA. So this is a um, foaming pump sprayer that comes with a foamer up here, or you can also have the attachment for just a regular liquid sprayer if you just want a pump sprayer. So this one here comes with the LEDs in the front. It has its charge port here as well, the power button. It uh, When you power it on, it's gonna pressurize the unit. And then when you depress the uh, trigger here up top, you're gonna start foaming the vehicle. Uh, it, is it the same thing as a foam cannon? Absolutely not, guys. But it is comparable to what you'd see from your average foaming trigger sprayers. Now, the better ones like the uh, IK foam uh, pump sprayers, the uh, Multi Foam Pro 2, that's their newer version. Or if you look at the Marilex foaming pump sprayers, regardless if it's in the, um, well, the Axle series is their foamer. So if you look at those uh, Axle bottles from Marilex, you're gonna have more performance out of those for foam if you're looking for a pump sprayer. Still not close to what a proper pressure washer and foam cannon setup will do, but they're very good. So this comes just shortly shy of that. However, it still works quite well and you are getting the battery powered performance. So you fill this up, this has a super big capacity. I mean, the uh, max, what is there? 1.8 liters uh, from what I can tell in the back. There's this window here and you can see all the markings. So it allows you to see how much liquid you have in there. Uh, but I found that the uh, battery was just quick enough to keep up with when you're spraying it on the vehicle. 
And so it's it's pretty good. It's not the best, but again, I mean, for a first try from uh, SPTA to do this kind of thing, uh, you can use, if you don't have access, for example, to a pressure washer or a pressure washer and foam cannon setup is too expensive and you're more on a budget, this is a good alternative because they're not that expensive and I'm sure the technology is going to get even better. But for a first try, again, check the video out. Um, I'll leave a link, by the way, in the description if you guys want to have a quick link and watch that comparison. Uh, you're going to see it in action. It's still works quite well and I think it's a good alternative if you don't have that uh, pressure washer or foam cannon setup. So what do you guys think? Like is there anything else by the way that's battery powered for use in the detailing world that you want to share and you want me to check out because I can do that for a future video? Let me know. I'm always curious. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section if there's anything out there that's cordless and um, uh, battery powered that is good for use in detailing that can probably save, um, well, save lives. That's a big, a funny way to say it uh, or that can improve the experience. There we go. That we're having by going the uh, cordless route, right? So yeah, let me know if there's anything out there that would be cool for me to test and uh, to show all my viewers and subscribers out there. Again, I remind you uh, all of these uh, tools and equipment, I'll leave the links in the description for you guys to check them out. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.